imagine a cozy scene. The rain tapping against the window, the crackling warmth of a fireplace, and the comforting aroma of coffee or hot cocoa filling the air. It's the perfect setting for some spine-tingling tales, isn't it? Welcome back to the swamp, my friends, and a warm welcome to those joining us for the first time. Today, as the rain falls gently outside, I thought it'd be fitting to share some good old scary stories to send shivers down your spine. Do you have a chilling tale of your own to share? If so, don't hesitate to submit it for a chance to be featured in a future episode. It's your stories that keep this show alive and thriving. But before we delve into the realm of the eerie and the unexplained, a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. Have you ever found yourself feeling a bit unsettled after diving into the depths of the unknown? The stories we explore here can sometimes linger, casting shadows in the corners of our minds. That's where BetterHelp comes in, with convenient online therapy sessions. You can find the support you need to navigate those darker thoughts and emotions. Trust me, I've been there. Since starting therapy, I felt more at ease, more rested, and better equipped to tackle each day with renewed energy. So if you're in need of a listening ear and a helping hand, give BetterHelp a try. Now let's dive into a tale straight from the heartland of America. Picture this, a sprawling countryside, a small town nestled amidst the fields, and a family of 11 children calling it home. It's in this remote setting that our story unfolds. As my mom and three sisters made their way home one evening, they found themselves on a desolate dirt road, winding through a canyon. Suddenly, lights enveloped their car from above, casting an otherworldly glow. With nerves on edge, my mom pressed down on the accelerator only to find the lights descending upon a nearby hilltop. What they saw next sent chills down their spines. A circular craft adorned with a kaleidoscope of colors, hovering ominously in the night sky. Frozen in awe, my mom brought the car to a halt, allowing us all a glimpse of the mysterious spectacle. But as quickly as it had appeared, craft began to move, inching closer with each passing moment. With adrenaline pumping, my mom shifted into gear and raced out of the canyon, the lights trailing behind like silent sentinels of the unknown. Though I was but a young child at the time, the memory of that night still lingers, a testament to the inexplicable wonders that lurk in the shadows of our world. As the night deepened, the eerie encounter took an even more chilling turn. Picture this. My family, now joined by my dad and me, stood outside our house, our eyes drawn to the heavens above our detached garage and workshop. There, hovering in the silent embrace of the night, was the UFO, its presence casting a surreal glow upon the scene. We stood transfixed our hearts pounding in our chests as we bore witness to this inexplicable phenomenon. It made no sound, no roar of engines, no rush of wind, just a silent, ethereal presence defying the laws of nature. And then, in the blink of an eye, it vanished, disappearing into the darkness with a speed that defied comprehension. Strangely, in that moment, fear eluded us. Despite the otherworldly spectacle unfolding before our eyes, there was an odd sense of calm, a feeling that we were not in danger. And though the UFO never returned, its memory lingered, etched into the fabric of our lives forever. Fast forward to another tale, this time deep within the woods, place of solace and sanctuary for many, including myself, 
It was there, amidst the tranquil embrace of nature, that I embarked on a hunting expedition, seeking the thrill of the chase. Little did I know, the woods held secrets far more unsettling than any prey I might encounter. Settling into my tree stand, surrounded by the whispering leaves and rustling branches, I waited patiently for my opportunity, but as the sun dipped below the horizon, signaling the end of daylight, a new kind of hunt began, one fraught with mystery and dread. It started with a broken buck, limping out from the shadows, its injured form a poignant reminder of nature's cruelty. Drawing my bow, I took aim, intending to end its suffering swiftly. Yet, as the arrow found its mark, the forest seemed to hold its breath. The silence broken only by the sound of my heartbeat echoing in the darkness. What happened next defies explanation. As my friend and I ventured into the night, tracking the wounded deer, a sense of unease settled over us. The darkness seemed to thicken, suffocating us in its embrace as unseen forces lurked in the shadows. Then, as if summoned from the depths of our deepest fears, came the sound of footsteps, heavy, urgent, and unmistakably human. Our hearts froze in our chests as we realized we were not alone. Our senses sharpened by the primal instinct to survive. With trepidation, we stood our ground, casting wary glances into the enveloping darkness. What lurked beyond the veil of night? Who or what had come to disturb the peace of the woods? With bated breath, we awaited the answer, knowing that some secrets are best left undisturbed. As the night enveloped us in its dark embrace, our headlamps pierced the shadows, illuminating the eerie silence that surrounded us. With each call into the void, our voices echoed off the trees, but no answer came, not a rustle of leaves, nor the faintest whisper of footsteps retreating into the night. It was as if whatever presence had disturbed our solitude had vanished without a trace, leaving us to ponder the mysteries that lurked in the darkness. With the deer loaded and our nerves still on edge, my brother's arrival brought a sense of relief. Yet the unease lingered like a shadow at the edge of our consciousness. Jay and I exchanged uneasy glances, silently acknowledging the inexplicable nature of our encounter. Was it a restless spirit drawn by the scent of blood, or something more sinister lurking in the shadows? As we drove away from the bridge, the memory of that night lingered, a haunting reminder of the mysteries that lay hidden in the depths of the woods. But this was not the only brush with the unknown that I've experienced in my lifetime. Years ago, during a seemingly ordinary morning break at school, I found myself caught in a moment of surreal disbelief. Sitting beneath the shade of a towering tree, I engaged in a playful game of tag with a friend, or so I thought. Laughter filled the air as we chased each other around the trunk. The thrill of the chase masking the strangeness of the situation. But when a classmate interrupted our game, calling out my name in confusion, my world was turned upside down. As I turned to respond, I realized with a shock that my friend was nowhere to be found. It was as if she had vanished into thin air, leaving me to grapple with the unsettling truth of what I had just experienced. Later that day, when I saw my friend again, her presence only deepened the mystery. She greeted me with a casual, hey, unaware of the bizarre encounter that had transpired earlier. Confounded and shaken, I kept silent. The 
memory of that inexplicable moment haunting me for years to come. And then there are the tales from the sea, where solitude and serenity collide with the unknown. For four decades, I've navigated the vast expanse of the ocean, finding solace in the rhythm of the waves and the whisper of the wind. Yet, amidst the tranquility of the open sea, I've encountered phenomena that defy explanation. On one such voyage, as I sailed alone across the Atlantic, I found myself drawn into a realm of strangeness that tested the limits of my understanding. Alone on my boat, sleep was a luxury I rarely indulged in. My senses attuned to the ever-shifting currents of the sea, but it was during one fateful journey that I encountered a disturbance unlike any other a disturbance that would forever alter my perception of the ocean's depths. With each story shared, the boundaries of our reality blur, revealing glimpses of a world beyond comprehension. From the depths of the woods to the expanse of the sea, the unknown beckons, its mysteries waiting to be unraveled by those brave enough to seek the truth. I'll keep it as Dave, a fitting pseudonym for our mysterious seafarer. Now, Dave's life is one intertwined with the vast expanse of the ocean, where each wave carries a story, and every gust of wind whispers secrets of the sea. For decades, he sailed alone, embracing the solitude and serenity that only the open waters can provide. And on one fateful night, as the storm clouds gathered on the horizon, Dave found himself in the midst of a tempest unlike any he'd encountered before. It was late May in 2012, and Dave had been enjoying a week of fishing and relaxation on the open ocean. But as night fell, and the storm descended upon him with ferocious intensity, he realized he was in for more than he bargained for. The wind howled, the waves surged, and the once calm sea transformed into a turbulent battleground. Yet, amidst the chaos of the storm, Dave heard a voice, a voice that stirred memories long buried in the depths of his heart. It was the voice of his beloved wife, who had passed away seven years prior. In that moment, as lightning illuminated the darkness. He caught a glimpse of her, standing on the edge of his perception, like a beacon in the night. Though initially perplexed, Dave soon found himself drawn to her presence, guided by an instinct he couldn't explain. As the storm raged on, and his boat was tossed about like a toy in the hands of a child, he felt her urging him forward, whispering two words that echoed in the depths of his soul. Keep swimming. With every ounce of strength he possessed, Dave fought against the relentless onslaught of the ocean, his wife's image burning brightly in his mind's eye, clad in the red dress she wore on their 30th anniversary. She symbolized everything he held dear love, companionship, and unwavering support. And so, driven by love and guided by faith, Dave pressed on, swimming against the currents of fate with a determination born of desperation. Though the prospect of death loomed ever closer, he refused to surrender, clinging to the hope somehow, some way, he would find his way back to her embrace. In the end, it wasn't just survival that kept Dave afloat. It was the memory of his wife, a beacon of light in the darkest of nights, guiding him home to the shores of eternity. And though the storm may have battered his body 
and tested his resolve. It was love that ultimately triumphed, binding him to the ocean and to the woman he cherished above all else. Something dark coming up really fast from the depths, I immediately called up to the bridge to alert them of the lookout's report. The tension in the air was palpable as we awaited further instructions. Moments later, the bridge responded, asking for clarification on the sighting. But before the lookout could respond, there was a sudden commotion on the bridge as the crew scrambled to get a better view. As I listened intently to the chatter over the speaker, a sense of unease crept over me. Whatever was lurking beneath the surface seemed to be stirring up quite a frenzy among the crew. And then, as if on cue, the lookout's voice crackled over the speaker once more, her tone now laced with fear. It's, it's huge, she stammered, her words barely audible over the rising wind. I've never seen anything like it. It's like, like it's alive. My heart raced as I relayed the lookout's words to the bridge, my mind racing with the possibilities of what could be lurking in the depths below. Could it be a creature of the deep? A remnant of some long forgotten era? Or perhaps something even more sinister, lurking in the shadows of the ocean's depths? As the minutes ticked by, the tension aboard the ship reached a fever pitch. All eyes were trained on the water behind us, searching for any sign of movement in the inky blackness. And then, just as suddenly as it had appeared, the dark mass began to rise, breaching the surface with a thunderous roar. What we saw next defied all logic and reason, a creature unlike anything I had ever seen before. Its massive form loomed ominously in the moonlight, its shape shifting and undulating like a living, breathing nightmare. And as it drew closer, I could feel a primal fear grip my very soul, sending shivers down my spine. In that moment, as the creature's cold, unblinking eyes locked with mine, I knew that we were facing something beyond our comprehension, something ancient and unknowable, lurking in the depths of the ocean like a forgotten god. As quickly as it had emerged, the creature vanished beneath the waves, leaving us to ponder the inexplicable encounter that had just unfolded before our eyes. And though we may never fully understand what we witnessed that night. One thing is certain, there are mysteries lurking in the depths of the ocean that defy explanation, and some secrets are best left undisturbed. Exploring the woods, there was a sense of adventure in the air, a feeling that every tree held a secret, and every shadow hid a mystery waiting to be uncovered. But amidst the beauty of nature, was also a hint of something darker, something lurking just beyond the edge of sight. One evening, as dusk descended upon the forest, my friends and I found ourselves drawn to a particularly eerie patch of woods rumored to be haunted. It was a favorite haunt of local legends, a place where the veil between the living and the dead seemed to grow thin. As we ventured deeper into the heart of the forest, the air grew thick with a sense of foreboding. Strange sounds echoed through the trees, and shadows danced in the fading light. Yet, despite the palpable sense of unease, we pressed on, eager to unravel the mysteries that lay hidden in the darkness. Suddenly, as if summoned by some unseen force, chill swept through the air, sending shivers down our spines. It was then that we saw her, a figure cloaked in shadow, 
her form obscured by the gloom of the forest. At first, we thought it was just a trick of the light, a figment of our overactive imaginations. But as she drew closer, her presence became undeniable. A ghostly specter haunting the depths of the woods. With trembling hands and racing hearts, we watched as she glided silently towards us, her eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light. There was something unmistakably sinister about her, something that sent a cold shiver down our spines. But before we could react, she vanished into the night, leaving us alone in the darkness, our minds reeling with fear and uncertainty. What had we just witnessed? Was she a ghost? A lost soul trapped between worlds? Or was she something far more malevolent? A harbinger of doom lurking in the shadows. As we made our way out of the woods, the echoes of her presence lingered. A reminder that not all is as it seems in the heart of Central Virginia. And though we may never know the truth of what we saw that night, one thing is certain. The spookiness of Central Virginia runs deep, and the secrets of the forest are best left undisturbed. Needed to defend myself, I could, but I didn't turn around to confront whatever it was. I just kept walking, finally, after what felt like an eternity. I heard my friend calling my name. I turned around and saw her running towards me, tears streaming down her face. She hugged me tightly. And between sobs, she told me that she had heard someone or something following her. The whole time we walked together for a while, not speaking, just holding on to each other tightly as we made our way through the woods. Eventually, we saw a break in the trees and the sunlight streaming through it was the road we both let out a sigh of relief and stumbled out onto the road where we were met by a kind elderly couple out for a walk. They must have seen the distress on our faces because they immediately offered us a ride home we gratefully accepted. And as we drove away from the woods, I couldn't shake the feeling that we had narrowly escaped something truly sinister that day. To this day, we still don't know what was following us in the woods one thing's for sure, we'll never venture into those woods alone again. Waited for me to come back if I hadn't made it out of those woods alive. It's a chilling thought, one that haunts me whenever I think back on that terrifying night. And as I lay in bed, nursing my wounds and trying to make sense of what had happened, I couldn't shake the feeling that there was something more to the strange events in those woods, the image of that ominous cloud swirling and dark against the night sky still sends shivers down my spine. What was it? Where did it come from? And why did it fill me with such overwhelming dread? These questions linger in my mind, unanswered and unsettling. But perhaps the most unsettling part of all is the realization I may never know the truth. Some mysteries are meant to remain unsolved, hidden in the depths of the unknown. And as much as I long for closure, I can't help but wonder if some secrets are better left buried. Despite the fear and uncertainty that still lingers within me, I find solace in the fact that I made it out of those woods alive. It's a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit, of our ability to overcome even the darkest of obstacles. But as I move forward, I can't help but carry with me the memory of that fateful night, a reminder that sometimes the things that go bump in the night are far more real than we could ever imagine. And though I may never fully understand what happened in those woods, I'll always be grateful for the lessons it taught me about courage, survival, 
and the enduring power of the human spirit. Wow, those stories really sent chills down my spine. From UFO sightings to eerie encounters in the woods. It seems like there's no shortage of strange and spooky tales out there. But amidst all the fear and uncertainty, there's also a sense of resilience and strength in the human spirit, as seen in the stories of survival and perseverance. If you enjoyed these hair-raising stories, don't forget to show your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. Your engagement helps the swamp grow and allows us to bring you more of these thrilling tales on a regular basis. And if you have your own creepy story to share, don't hesitate to reach out. Your stories are what keep this show going, and I'd love to hear from you. Whether it's a UFO sighting, a ghostly encounter, or something else entirely, your story could be featured in a future episode. So, until next time, stay safe out there, and keep your eyes peeled for the unexplained. Who knows what mysteries await in the darkness of the night. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you soon with another spine-tingling episode. As the fire crackles and the rain taps gently on the window, we bring our journey through the shadows to a close. Tonight, we've delved into the realms of the supernatural, exploring tales of UFO sightings, eerie encounters in the woods, and unexplained phenomena that defy logic. But as the night draws to a close, and we bid farewell to these haunting tales, let us remember the resilience of the human spirit. In the face of darkness, we find courage. In the depths of fear, we discover strength. And through it all, we are reminded that even in the darkest of nights, there is always a glimmer of hope. So as you extinguish the last embers of the fire and settle into the safety of your bed, remember to keep an open mind and a watchful eye, for who knows what mysteries lurk just beyond the edge of our understanding. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the unknown. Until next time, stay curious, stay brave, and may your dreams be free.